stunning people and welcome to the Salt Lick Sessions. Today's artist is here live in the flesh. She's not a ghost. This is Lizzie McAlpine. Her name is Noel. I had a dream about her. She rings my bell. Got gym class in half an hour. Oh, how she rocks. Cats in tube socks. But she doesn't know who I am. And she doesn't give a damn about me. Cause I'm just a teen. Dirtbag baby I'm just a teenage Dirtbag baby With scented wire Maiden baby With me Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Her boyfriend's a dick He brings a gun to school And he'd simply kick my ass if he knew the truth He lives on my block And he drives in a rock But he doesn't know who I am And he doesn't give a damn about me Cause I'm just a teenage dirtbag baby I'm just a teenage dirtbag baby to iron maiden baby with me oh, oh, oh with me oh, oh, oh man I feel like mold it's prom night and I am lonely lo and behold she's walking over to me this must be fake My lip starts to shake How does she know who I am? And why does she give a damn about me? I've got two tickets to Iron Maiden, baby Come with me Friday, don't say Hi, Lizzie. Hi. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. So let's talk about you Great. and where you're from and what's going on in your noggin. So many things yeah, all I the know. time. Just um, unleash it all. Well, I'm from a suburb like 20 minutes outside of Philadelphia. Hmm. That's where I grew up. Yeah, and then I moved here like last, almost a year ago. Here is Los Angeles. Los Angeles, yes. Mm -hmm. um, in October of last year. Cool. So almost a year. How long did you stay in Pennsylvania? Well, I was there until I went to college in mm -hmm. Boston. I was there for two years, and then I, I went back to Philly, and then I was kind of like um, going back and forth between like a different place and Philly. Mm -hmm. So Philly was kind of like my home base. Mm -hmm. So I like went to London for three months, and then I was in Oregon recording Five Seconds Flat, and then I went to New York for a little bit. Um, and then I was like, I think it's time to have a home base that is not my parents' house. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> right. Right. So then I moved here. <laughs> Love that. And now I have like an actual like space for myself. Right. A yeah. full adult. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. It's when you hard. were um, growing up, did you spend a lot of time in the city? Um, we would go like into the city pretty often. Okay. But I would say most of my time was just spent like in the suburbs. In the suburbs. Yeah. In the burbs. Yeah, exactly. I think the, the reason I ask is because there is a, <laughs> I'd say a pretty stark difference between people who spend no time in a city mm -hmm. growing up and then people who spend 
a lot of time in the city yeah. and you seem to be like right in the middle of that yeah i mean we we didn't spend a lot of time in philly but we would go to new york all the time because it's ah, so close okay and um my grandparents have taken me and my sister to see a broadway show every year since i was eight oh, no so way. like we go every year and then my grandparents also live in upstate new york so we're always in new york area oh that's amazing yeah since you were eight yes was that kind of what ignited the spark um, well, I think it ignited my passion for theater, mm -hmm. but I have been singing like forever. There are videos of me in like preschool <laughs> coming home and like teaching my family the songs that we learned um, and stuff like that. But I've, I've been singing forever. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. So singing has been a thing forever. And mm -hmm. then when you were around eight, you had the theater spark yes. happen. What was the show you saw? We saw Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the, the Beast. the only thing that I remember is that a random man gave my sister a rose mm. while we were like sitting. She was like seven or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, then I also remember during the scene where they're fighting on the roof, I started crying because oh, <laughs> really? I was so scared. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were so scared and you're like, I want to do yeah. this forever. <laughs> well, every, every time I see a Broadway show, I am just like reminded of how much like, there's just something so special about live theater, I mm -hmm. think. And every time I see a show, I'm reminded of it. It's just like so, the energy is just so palpable in mm -hmm. the room. Like, and we're all having this shared experience. It's beautiful. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. Was, so was theater your main outlet kind of growing up? Um, I didn't do a lot of theater until I got to high school. I did like a couple, I took, I took like a Broadway class and we would like sing Broadway songs, but I was in like fourth grade. <laughs> but I was mostly kind of just singing and like I took, um, voice lessons in fourth grade, then I quit mm. after a year. Nice. <laughs> because I didn't feel like I was learning anything. Because yeah. all all we would do is I would go to the to the lesson and she would just be like, "What song do you want to sing today?" Mm. And I would just sing. Mm -hmm. And then I'd leave. I was like, "Did I learn anything?" <laughs> right. No foundation. <laughs> right. Stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then I took piano lessons for a little bit, mm -hmm. but then I quit also because <laughs> I was like, I don't. I just wanted to do whatever I wanted to do, and I right. didn't like people telling me what I should learn. And I was like, I just want to sit in my room and play piano. So mm -hmm. that's what I did. A true artist spirit. Right. What about guitar? When did she enter the story? <sighs> I want to say like 14 maybe. Okay. Like Or 12, mm -hmm. a little later. Was um, that also self-taught? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I started on piano though, because mm -hmm. my grandma has a piano in her house and we would like go there all the time and I would just like sit at the piano and just like pretend to play because I didn't know what I was doing yet. Let's talk about you as a songwriter. So when did you start writing? I wrote my first song when I was 12 years old. 12. In sixth grade. And it was called Stuck in the Moment. <laughs> and it was about a boy that like I was obsessed with and he had no idea who I was. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it was on piano. I don't remember how it goes. I know I had a notebook of old songs, but I don't know if I have it anymore. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. But yeah, I started in, in uh, sixth grade. Stuck in the Moment about yeah. a boy who doesn't know you exist. Yep. Which is... An uh, interesting parallel with the song you chose to cover. <laughs> yeah. Right? That, that is crazy, actually. I know. I know. <laughs> Whoa. Like subconscious, I know. You like listening to the song, you're like, wow, this is like a really good idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, because I did it when I was 12. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, that's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. So when you wrote that song, were you like, this is what I want to do? No, definitely no. not. Oh, okay. I mean, I wasn't like, oh my God, this is going to be my career. And like, I don't know, I was just kind of writing the song because I was like, I have feelings, and I don't know how to express them, so <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll just like start writing the song. And then I kind of was just writing like a bunch, and they were really bad at first. Um, they were pretty bad for a while. Like, <laughs> for a couple years, I was like, what am I doing? Um, but it was just fun, and I, I just feel like um, it's so special to be able to like put a moment into a song and like immortalize it forever, mm -hmm. you know? Totally. I feel like that's how I view my albums too. They're mm -hmm. like moments in time. It's like a time capsule, basically. Mm -hmm. And I just love that idea because I'm such a, a nostalgic person. Mm -hmm. I love like looking back on things and like memories. I just, I love it all. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about future Lizzie. Let's talk about okay. Lizzie driving the bus. Uh -huh. Driving the tour bus, she says, <laughs> dee, 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 and she's waving and she's really excited <laughs> and she has new releases coming out. Uh -huh. And tell me what, what do we have to expect? Um, well, I yeah, am I just, I like working that. on the next record. Okay. We just started the process. Very exciting. Um, all the songs are written. They, I usually write songs like 
during like I, I started writing this album while I was still working on Five Seconds Flat. Nice. They kind of all overlap, mm -hmm. but it's very easy for me to tell when projects end and start. So I think the last song I wrote for Five Seconds Flat was Nobody Likes a Secret. And after that one, I was like, OK, that belongs on this album because it like makes sense in the in the story. And this is like a certain um, chunk of my life. Mm -hmm. And then I started writing the next one. and I was like, OK, this is the next chunk of my life. Um, so yeah, I'm working on that and other things that I will not say yet because they're very exciting. That is very exciting. Yeah, I'm I'm very excited for this next this next era. This next era. Yeah, it's Amazing. gonna be it's gonna be cool. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. we are all also very excited. Yeah. To hear what you have coming, and <laughs> I just I'm so stoked for you. Thank you. Yeah, and I really appreciate you making a little bit of time oh for us gosh, today. Of course. Thanks, Lizzie. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> You got a Slurpee for free I caught you looking at me In the 7-Eleven Under fluorescent lights We walked in comfy silence Footsteps down familiar sidewalk Knowing that we were here in our dreams last night All my ghosts are with me feel them too Ride and shotgun next to your free slurpee They know all of my habits But they don't know about you I hope that's true And cheese on my pants And thought about kissing you Underneath kitchen lights Oh, all my ghosts are with me I know you feel them too Oh, they just stand there while we're taking shots of brandy They know all of my habits But they don't know about you I hope that's true I can see it now the wedding of the year I can see it now he stands up there and wipes his tears I can see it now and all my ghosts disappear I can see Crystal clear You got a Slurpee for free I caught you looking at me In the 7-Eleven Under fluorescent lights And all my ghosts were with me I know you felt Watching as I started to get dizzy Cause I hate all of my habits But I happen to love you I hope that's true Hey stunning people, it's Bean. Make sure to check out the Salt Lick Sessions YouTube channel and subscribe.